LETV's Jonathan Davies joins us now in the studio to tell us more. Johnny? Yes, if you're caught running a red light in St. Peter's by a red light camera, you could be expected three points on your license and even face possible suspension. Student drivers of Linderwood University gave their opinions on the new change. Running a red light by Missouri State Law originally brought a driver a ticket of $100. However, according to the new law, the cost could now be much higher. St. Peter's Alderman met last November to discuss the impact of cameras and road safety at St. Peter's City Hall. The ban was approved in a unanimous decision Thursday the 7th of November. Driver Jordan Harms thinks cameras aren't a reliable source of fining people. A lot of the time uh, I've seen them go off when someone pulls up to a red light and you know it's just in the nick of time they have to go through or they'll block the intersection they'll take a picture of them and then they'll get a ticket in the mail the next week and it's, I don't think it's exactly a reliable way of you know, finding people. The points won't just stay on your license either. They have a minimum length of three years that they remain on the driver's record. Driver Mark Saunders says the idea of photo-enforced punishment is enough. I don't think it's necessary. Um, I think the ticket was enough to try to get people to stop running red lights and being so reckless while driving. So I think that this new ticket law and like with the three points and stuff is real stupid. The recent court ruling conflicts with that of Missouri state law, which carries a punishment of just the hundred dollars. Driver Derek Featherston says he disapproves of more penalties and thinks the whole like traffic camera speeding thing it's taking away from like the jobs of the actual police. And who okay, you got a license plate on camera? Who's to say that I was actually driving that car? Especially with us being in college and this turning into a college town, more and more people are letting people borrow their cars. Especially like uh, if you have like an international friend that doesn't have a car here and like hey can I borrow your car to go somewhere but then you're gonna get stuck with that and it's gonna go on your license regardless. Annual figures won't come out until the new year only then will we see what impact this will have on the drivers of St. Peter's. I'm Jonathan Davis for LUTV News.